and we are following breaking news. A fatal crash on Interstate 5. Thanks for joining us at 6 a.m. Everyone, I'm Eric Connard. And I'm Carrie Lane in Vernetta Ronpour. This happened on the southbound lanes downtown. CBS 8's Evan Irani has the latest on this and how it's impacting traffic, and I'm sure things are starting to back up now exactly. that we're in the 6 o'clock hour. Hidden 6 o'clock, a lot of people headed southbound trying to get onto the Coronado Bridge. That is where we're going to see single-digit speeds all the way across the 5 southbound. 5 southbound is where this took place. 5 southbound at Imperial. So what we're seeing is that there's pretty decent congestion building up to it. 1 through 4 lanes closed. Only one lane open right now. This is after a person was hit and killed on the five southbound. It happened an hour ago at five o'clock. That's when that first call in, came into CHP. CHP responded quickly. They are on scene. They've been on scene for the last hour, and it is still likely going to be at least another half hour, if not longer, before they're able to start reopening some of those lanes. So we're going to start to see that congestion continue to build here in the six o'clock hour. If we look at speeds right ahead of it on the five, we're down to about 24 miles per hour through the downtown area. And again, like I mentioned, as you get closer to these one through four lanes being blocked, you'll likely drop down to the single digits, if not to a standstill. Harbor Drive is going to be a better reroute there. That's going to take you off of the five. You can also, if you're trying to get farther east, head east ahead of this, get east on the eight over to the 805 perhaps and uh, avoid this because again one through four lanes blocked this morning. We do want to let you know what the forecast is looking like. It's dry outside a sunny day 46 degrees right now in Santee cold start to the morning 50 in Chula Vista right now and in Carlsbad. We're going to be warming up as the day progresses seeing temperatures make their way into the 60s dry and comfortable all the way through about Thursday and then more rain wind and mountain snow in the forecast as we get to Friday details in just a few back to you. National City could soon join other cities that have banned homeless encampments. Later this afternoon, the National City Council is set to consider an ordinance that would make camping on public property illegal if shelter beds are available. CBS 8's Regina Iorita is live outside City Hall where that meeting is going to take place here later today, Regina. Yeah, that's correct. And this is the first time that National City is introducing an encampment ban very similar to the one that San Diego passed, which makes camping on public property illegal if a shelter bed is available. Now, the city says it's necessary to have the discussion and introduce uh, the possibility of implementing an encampment ban, especially after San Diego passed their ordinance and now that Chula Vista is considering one as well. So the city has seen an influx of unsheltered people. They've noticed a migration from the city of San Diego after San Diego passed their encampment ordinance. According to the annual point in time count in 2023, there were 159 unsheltered individuals in National City, which is nearly a 7% increase from 2022. So today the city will introduce a proposal at their meeting. They will discuss how camping would also be illegal at all times anywhere within two blocks of a school at any transit hub or along trolley tracks and in any waterway. The proposal could also clear out encampments, whether there's a shelter available or not, only if it is considered an immediate threat to the public's health or safety. Now, enforcement would include misdemeanor citations and arrests. So back out here, the law would go in effect after 30 days of being adopted, but it will require a second reading. And if approved, it could be the latest city uh, following a rule like this after San Diego and Poway's decision. So, of course, that meeting starts at 6 p.m. Eric and Carrie. Regina, thank you. In about three hours here, plastic surgeon Dr. Carlos Chacon is set to appear in court. His trial is set to get underway. The South Bay plastic surgeon is facing murder charges after 36-year-old Megan Espinoza went into cardiac arrest during a breast augmentation surgery back in 2018. CBS 8's Chris Crow, he's live outside the South Bay Courthouse with everything we know so far about this case. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning. And for those of you that have been following this case, you remember Chacon originally charged with manslaughter, but then those charges were elevated to that second degree murder. And today the trial begins, but this all dates back to 2018 when Espinosa went to Chacon's office to get uh, that routine breast augmentation. Uh, what we've learned since then is that Espinosa went into cardiac arrest and then died weeks after undergoing uh, that procedure at Divino Plastic Surgery in Bonita. Now, what we've learned from the California Medical Review Board is that there are a number of disturbing factors that played potentially played uh, into the outcome of this. Now, according to the California Medical Review Board, Chacon administered anesthesia without training, waited more than three hours before calling for help, 
and used a cheat sheet to perform CPR. Now, again, remember, Espinoza died weeks after going into cardiac arrest. So uh, many have been wondering if sooner, quicker action, more trained response could have been the difference in this. Now, today the trial starts. That'll be happening sometime around 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, that's when the court will open. That's when uh, we expect that the trial will begin. But remember, again, Chacon now facing second degree murder charges in relation to this case. Eric and Kerry. All right, thank you for that, Chris. Also today, Larry Miliette expected back in court. He's accused of murdering his wife, Maya. The Chula Vista mother went missing over three years ago. To this day, Maya's body has never been found. Today, both parties are expected to decide on a new start date for the trial. This after the trial was delayed twice due to Larry obtaining new attorneys back in October. This morning, a local chef is being accused of sexual battery just days after opening his new restaurant in downtown San Diego. Chef Jeff Cole held his grand opening for brunch after dark on Sunday. He was arrested by San Diego police a short time later. After he bailed out, Cole told us he doesn't know what he was arrested for. They told me something from my last restaurant. They said it's a case from my last restaurant. And, um, you know, so I was like, I still don't know who the victims are. I don't know what the situation is. According to the jail records, Cole faces two felony charges for sexual battery and two misdemeanors, including indecent exposure. He denies all the allegations. Starting today, letters will go out to people who may no longer be eligible to stay in the county's emergency temporary lodging program for flood victims. Now, we told you yesterday this program is set to end by May 11th. Some people will be asked to move out of hotels before that date. It depends on whether they've filed for FEMA assistance or if they're still working with FEMA to find a place to live. Let's get back to Evan Irani with more on that fatal crash on the five. Good morning, Evan. Yeah, good morning to you. Continuing to track this fatal crash on the five southbound. This is at Imperial Avenue. Uh, we do know again, same information that we brought to you a few minutes ago. Uh, one person was hit and killed number one through number four lanes blocked off uh, this morning. So that's where you're going to experience some difficulty. Better idea to reroute onto Harbor or to uh, head east and make your way to the five or to the 805 perhaps. Again, number one through four lanes blocked, SIG alert in play. Uh, this took place around 5 a.m. It's been about an hour. No new information beyond that. Let's take a look at border wait times and see how those are faring as we start off the morning. 110 minute wait at San Ysidro Port of Entry, 80 minute wait at Otay Mesa Port of Entry this morning. Uh, now taking a look at uh, the forecast that we have for the morning where things are dry out there. We have uh, temperatures mostly in the 40s right now, a couple low 50s, 46 degrees in Santee, 50 in Chula Vista, 51 in San Diego under clear skies. Ridge of high pressure continuing to build overhead and that's going to help to give us some warmer temperatures for today and tomorrow before we start to see some clouds move in by the time we get to Thursday and then showers by the time we get to Friday. Walking out the door, you'll notice those cooler temperatures as you move farther east. 38 degrees right now in Ramona, 44 in Alpine to start off the morning, 43 in Poway and 50 in Carlsbad. So a little bit warmer as you start to make your way toward the coastline. But over the next 12 hours, we're going to warm up really nicely. We've got upper 60s in the forecast. In some cases, our inland valleys are going to make it well into the 70s. It is the upcoming weekend that we start to see those changes come about. And again, that's going to be Friday where we start to see rain move in. So enjoy these sunny skies that we have on hand for today and tomorrow. Tomorrow being a hair warmer before we start to see those changes come about by Friday. Plus side to this is that we do have a dry upcoming weekend. Saturday and Sunday do look to be mainly dry days.